November 25th, a short update on a sunspot theory. Uh, this Sunday and the week before, we have been showing uh, what we consider to be very important, the sunspot uh, cycles, uh, because we can say that we build cycles and uh, economic cycles, uh, but there is still a basis to it. Um, I didn't discover that there was a coincidence when I showed to somebody who is, uh, who is uh, an astronomer and he saw my cycles on the Dow Jones. He said, it just looks like the sunspot cycle. And that is when I start looking into the sunspot cycle. And of course, me being a cycle person, I built the cycles predict, predicting uh, the tops and bottoms of the, uh, of the sunspots. Now, last week's cycle chart, the one that is in red, shows actually for people who know something about the history of Dow Jones that every time there is a top, the market is vulnerable and comes down. And every time there's a low in cycle, in the sunspot cycle, uh, the market is a buying opportunity. Um, and it doesn't show, but in uh, 2008-9, it was the lowest sunspot intensity of the last 500 years which actually, like we wrote before, is a, a reason that the market were looking only at negative things to happen. Now, the point I want to make is this. Although it seems to be 100% correlation, we only sent this out as one other reason to have an idea how market function. So this is just to take as an indication of what we can expect of the market to happen. Now, my chart that I sent out goes up to uh, a top of 2015, which indeed was the time 2014-15 that we had weakness again in the S&P and it continues down. So it can only be used as an indication. What we can say is that although the market goes up, it against the sunspot cycle and it's one more indication that there is risk ahead.